really, really strange. It was definitely coming out on the 10th, and it's now the 11th. Where's my Threadripper care package? <laughs> It seems appropriate given that we've just started a Ryzen water cooling build that EK Waterblocks have just announced their new Threadripper CPU block. It's based on the Evo lineup, but it's sufficiently large enough that it can cover the entirety of the integrated heat spreader of the Threadripper CPU. It's 68 mm squared versus the 58 mm squared of the Evo lineup, and it is interesting that they've decided to stick with the square shape, which I think will be aesthetically more pleasing once you've got your build complete. It's a machined copper base that's been nickel plated electrically, and it's also available with an acetal top or a full nickel top. It's got a new and specific jet plate that is specifically for the Threadripper CPU, and it's designed to make sure that all four of those Zeppelin cores that sit underneath the integrated heat spreader are sufficiently cooled and covered. Remembering, of course, that only two of those Zeppelin cores are active, the other two are just passive and they're just to balance out the entirety of the CPU. So it's really great to see that we've finally got a decent cooler available for Threadripper. Everything that I've seen so far have been coolers that were clearly designed for Intel CPUs and boards that really don't give a sufficient coverage, not only of the integrated heat spreader, but also the cores that sit underneath that. It's cooling it, but clearly there's room for improvement, and it's great to see that EK water blocks are first out of the blocks. So there we go, guys, a really quick video. Can't wait to get our hands on Threadripper and that fantastic looking block. I hope you're really well wherever in the world you are. Please like and share this video. And if not already subscribed, please do so to make sure that you catch my water cooling how-to guide.